Hi, welcome everyone to my YouTube channel, Nishad Karim Art. Uh, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all my friends, uh, colleagues who've uh, liked and shared my videos that are recently uploaded. This is a relatively new channel. I only started actually a couple days ago. I've managed to upload just about seven or eight videos of paintings I've done in the past, a few commissions, and just one or two demonstrations I've done in my class um, and my job as a teacher. So, yeah, just a huge thank you. Um, the response has been awesome. So today we're going to do something new, quite simple. It's stretching a canvas and preparing the stretcher bars. Now what I have today, uh, these are some three centimeter thick, deep uh, frames. These are the stretcher bars actually. These are pre-cut, so they actually fit into each other, which they're quite easy to, to attach to each other. Uh, normally, um, I would just sometimes use one two centimeter thick or squared pine. Uh, it's cheaper. These, they're a bit more costly, um, but in terms of time, it makes it quite easy to put them together. They already come as just basically uh, fastening them together and then you're ready to stretch your canvas. So, in another video I'll post, I'll show you exactly. I'll have a bit more on different types of canvases, uh, the materials we use in terms of priming the canvas. That will come in another video. So, today all we're using is we need our stretcher bars. The dimensions of these it's about three centimeter uh, thick it's three feet by two feet or as we say 36 inches by 24 inches so it's a sort of rectangular shape it's a nice sort of landscape uh, shape to it uh, all you need is a hammer to tap it in because it could be a bit uh, difficult to tap in sometimes um, use your right angle your 90 degree square to make sure that your corners are 90 degree and square and just I'm using a really cheap stapler uh, however the staples are quite important I have two different staples here this one is the 53 by 8 centimeter so it's, it's quite deep so it does hold on to the frame quite good these are the cheaper ones they're only about four millimeters so I would recommend using the uh, 53 by 8 millimeters so here we go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the long one first and we're just going to sort of like line up, make sure they fit in properly. And you can see the edge is fitting in there. I'm just going to tap this. See, it's fitting in there. It's not quite 90 degrees. Yeah. So I still need to tap it a bit more. So you can tap it a bit. And that is perfect, perfect fit there. It's quite snug. And yeah, and then you do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna start with the shorter side. Now, line it up. So it fits. Correct. So sometimes you need to wobble it in a bit. Press it in. tap it in so it does take a bit of strength to put them together again as I said it's much easier so that's both sides there quite easy and yeah let's just wait for the top piece so just fit it in there just bring it in on this side. So once you get that done, it's easy. Perfect, perfect. And then once it's all put together, use our square. a bit off there so on this side and that is almost perfect
That's good. It's good. Perfect. 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 So there we are. Now that we've attached them, now obviously it's not fastened with any PVA or any sort of nails or brads or anything like that. So it is sturdy, but once you start stretching canvas, it is going to wobble, which obviously we need to avoid. So at the back, this surface is quite flat. There's a ridge here where you stretch your canvas over and you use that to fasten with staples. On this side, it's sort of smooth. So this is the actual face of where the canvas is going to come across. So then no edges, don't get any marks or any sort of like uh, bits where you get an uneven surface basically. So I'm going to do the, use the back and I'm starting, I'm starting at the corners. I'm going to staple, put about five or six there. I'm going to put a couple here, a couple underneath there. And on the inside, down below, behind the canvas, I'm going to put a couple as well. And that should hold really strong. So with the staple, make sure you, you should know your staple, test it out. Once you use your, your staple gun, because sometimes you staple and the staples, they're not actually centered. They, they are a bit to the left, they're a bit offset to the right, which can cause, sometimes if you're, if you're working with a really thin frame, can cause the frame to split. So I've been using this one, it's a cheap one. And I know exactly where the middle is, so I know exactly uh, how to align the staple in between so that the, the staple holds on either side properly. So we just staple. Try to do the opposite side. The other side. going to double check to make sure yep it's good yes so that's good there so the same thing I'm going to repeat the process on the other side on this side is a smaller space though so this side is going to hold less staples actually have it it's quite sturdy check to see so look at the level if you look at your eye you can look across or you could look down to make sure that the top or the horizontal bar is parallel to the bar below and yep this is perfect I mean, sometimes the buy when you use the strips the pine uh, this wood if it's not dried properly they warp and they bend and sometimes you can't prevent that you buy buy a stack they come in probably eight or ten and in between you may get two or three strips that are quite warped so it's always good to check before you get straight pieces uh, to ensure obviously you're not you're not wasting so so this one is ready and you're ready to stretch your canvas so stay tuned remember click subscribe share with your friends all right like uh, the next video I'm going to explain and I'm going to show you how to stretch the canvas over the frame. Cheers. Thank you guys. Yeah? Hope you enjoyed.